Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy, S7SAH, back with another video, the one you've all been waiting for, the super secret settings video. I've put in the time and effort to bring you the ultimate guide to boosting your FPS and reducing delay in blood strike, so you're going to want to stick around for every step of this process. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single detail. Make sure to smash that like button and share this video with your friends so everyone can benefit from these tips. All right, let's dive right in. First up, we're going to dive into the graphics settings. Head over to your Windows search bar and type in graphics settings. Open it up, find blood strike in the list, and make sure you select your graphics card. This is crucial. Next, we're jumping into the NVIDIA control panel. This part is super important, so follow along closely as I walk you through the exact settings you need. We're also going to tweak the color settings to make your game look and perform better than ever. Now, let's talk resolution. I play on a 901X900 resolution, which stretches the game, making enemies easier to spot and giving you those extra frames. My screen resolution is 1440x900. But if you're on a 1920x1080 monitor, try playing on 1050x1040. Trust me, it makes a difference. All right, now for the secret sauce, the saw pack. Download it from the link in the description below, and once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Follow along as I show you how to copy the code from the folder. You'll then want to search for PowerShell in your Windows search bar, run it as an admin, and paste the code you just copied. It might take a moment to load, but don't worry. This is where the magic happens. Once it loads, go to Tweak and carefully follow each step I show you. This part is really important, so make sure you do it exactly as I do. Once the tweaks are applied, we'll move on to the next step. Next up, we're going to run ONO Shut Up 10. This is a must do for anyone serious about optimizing their system. Go ahead and select Apply Only Recommended Settings and click OK. I'm skipping this step because I've already done it, but you need to make sure it's applied. Then go to Updates and select Security Recommended Settings from the middle option. This ensures your system is locked and loaded. Once that's all done, close it up. No need to restart just yet because we've got more to cover. Now it's time to tackle that annoying input delay. Search for keyboard in your Windows search bar and follow my steps to reduce keyboard delay. Next, search for mouse. 
and I'll show you how to tweak it to improve your aim. It's the small things that make a big difference. All right, back to the saw pack for the final steps. We're going to reduce screen delay and stabilize your system for even better performance. Start by opening the CPU optimization folder and running the files inside. Then go to Blood Strike Priority and set it to High Priority. This ensures your game runs smoother than ever. Next, head to the Power Plan folder and select High Performance. We're not stopping there. Go to the RAM Optimization folder, choose the RAM size that matches your device, and apply the settings. It's a crucial step, so make sure you get it right. Finally, we're going to disable unnecessary services that might be hogging resources while you're gaming. Open the files in the folder and let's streamline your system for peak performance. Now that we've got everything dialed in, we're almost ready to restart your device, but not just yet. After you've done the system tweaks and optimizations, the next step is crucial for reducing input delay on your keyboard. We'll be using a software called Key Filter to make your keyboard more responsive than ever, eliminating any delay and giving you that competitive edge. After adjusting these settings, make sure to apply and save them. Now your keyboard will be lightning fast with zero delay, making every movement and command precise and immediate. This setting is especially important if you're in high-stakes gameplay where every millisecond counts. Let's clear out some clutter. Press Windows key plus R, type temp, and delete all the files in there. Do the same with Fent 10% and clear out all that junk. Next, go to your C drive, right-click on it, select Properties, and then choose Disk Cleanup. Follow along as I show you exactly what to do. Finally, we'll jump into the game, and I'll walk you through the best settings for aim, color, and overall gameplay. Whether you're a competitive player or just playing for fun, you're going to notice a huge difference. And that's it, folks. Your system is now optimized for the best possible Blood Strike experience. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends so everyone can enjoy smoother gameplay. And hey, keep an eye out for some massive leaks coming your way soon. You don't want to miss it. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. And remember, there's a big secret on the horizon. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.